Welcome, let's talk about an important case study on artificial sweeteners. Now this case study is an important case study that you can amalgamate when you are writing any answer related to science and technology. So here we have aspartame as one of the important constituents of artificial sweetener, a case study on it. Now where is aspartame found? It is found in Diet Coke and most of the cold drinks as an artificial sweetener. It is also found in desert desserts, gums, um, yogurts, flavored yogurts, uh, sugar-free gums, mints. So those are some of the ones where aspartame is found. Now according to the calorie council, uh, even a small amount of artificial sweetener can sweeten the product at a very significant rate, nearly 3000 to 4000 times more sweet than the actual sugar. That means a very, amount, very small amount of the sweetener must be added to the content. But one of the recent studies have found that this aspartame is carcinogenic in nature. Now the amount uh, and the kind of exposure is important. Some of the people have a certain genetic makeup because of which they are predisposed to carcinogenic cells and therefore for them even a small amount could be detrimental. So American Cancer Society has recently uh, laid in a research where it has said that these artificial sweeteners which could be in of various forms for example aspartame as one of these, uh, ASK, sucralose, neotame, Advantame and saccharine are some of those to sort with. Now people usually use these sweeteners as a weight control strategy. Now when you are using these sweeteners for weight control, what happens is it gives rise to diseases which could be type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, also higher mortality uh, rate in adults which can be cited. Also these sweeteners as I said, a very small amount can be uh, actually uh, uh, very significantly dangerous and it is said that what is being permissible uh, nearly two to six times less than that is actually used. But still those recommendations are at a question because these artificial sweeteners have proved to have higher rate of have proved to be causing increased rate for stroke diseases and also for brain diseases. So for consumer as a perspective of consumer, it is very important to understand what is a difference between safe versus healthy. Now these um, artificial sweeteners have been labeled as safe by FDA, but they are not labeled as healthy by FDA. So safe means they are okay for intake within a permissible limit. But if they are beyond a permissible limit, they are unsafe. However, the recent debates of WHO versus FDA are still on, on to the actual use of artificial sweeteners. Also, for adults, it is cited that uh, countries in the world which are highly developed, for example, United States consume nearly, uh, an adult consume nearly 17 teaspoons of sugar daily, which is nearly two to three times more than the permissible amount. That means on an average six, five to six teaspoons is the amount of sugar that should be consumed on a daily basis. So that's that's what has been recommended and this is the actual amount that is found. Now, um, even if we talk about the aspartame, it says that 50 milligrams per kg of body weight is okay. That means uh, it allows you to drink nearly 36 cans of diet soda in a day. Can you imagine? Is it a permissible limit? So there are regular debates on this and WTO has brought up a new stand which says that these uh, non-sugar sweeteners or artificial sweeteners must be controlled with immediate effect. So a very important case study for your science and technology section is specifically the biological developments and the section on uh, diseases. 
so we would be uh, covering interesting such case studies in the upcoming sessions as well uh, very important for your answer writing when you have questions related to um, the the real uh, now these can be various kind of questions those could pertain to how the multinational corporations have been spreading their arms across the world uh, we can bring in a case study like this where we sort down jot down the points related to artificial sweetener and the stand of wto uh, who versus fda we can also talk about uh, various uh, carcinogenic uh, if there is a question on carcinogenic substances then again this kind of case study could be well suited so based on the requirement of the question you would have to analyze what would be a best stand and accordingly write your answer thanks for joining in today